Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the problem B from the latest Court Forces Round 672 problem name Rock and Lever. So now you can read out the story part but the question statement in general states that you are given positive integer n and you are given n integers in a form of an array A and they all are positive integers. Your task is to calculate the number of pairs i and j such that like if you take two numbers a pair sort of thing in which if you do an AND operation of both of these numbers it should be greater than or equal to the ZOR operation of both of the like both of the pairs like the pair itself. So as you can see this is the whole question you have to count out the number of pairs in which the AND operation of the pair is greater than or equal to the ZOR operation on that pair. So that's the whole question. So because whenever you got problems on bit manipulation always try to think in form of bits only so because you are given this first example let's think over this question example only one four three seven ten okay so now first write all of these numbers in the bit representation so like one is like this now four is like this okay and then three is like this okay then 7 is like this and then 10 is this like so these are the numbers okay so now uh, what is the answer given to this also check this out there is only one pair 4 and 7 so now this is 4 and this is this is 4 and this is 7 so now can you see why the and is greater than the zor so in AND operation, if both of them are 1, then it is 1 only. But in ZOR, if both of them, are the bits are same, then the answer is 0. But if they are different, then only it is 1. So as you can see, because in both of these numbers, the starting, like the leftmost bit, okay, is 1. So if I take this as a pair, then this number, like because this bit is 1 1 in both of these numbers it will turn out to be 1 okay and this number will be for of the format like this if I do an AND of these two numbers it will be like 1 0 0 but if I do a ZOR of both of these numbers because these bits are different it will be 0 0 oh sorry it will be 1 1 and 0 so this number is greater than this number so why this happened because as you can see if I move from left to right okay if some bit is 1 then I can pair it with another number which has the same 1 bit so like I can pair these two numbers and if I pair both of these numbers then what will happen like uh, because both of them are 1 their ZOR value is less than their AND value because in AND both of them get added up I hope you understand my point and let's assume that some more number is there which is like this which is like 0 1 1 1 or like this number then I can also take this number in account because I can also like do an AND operation of this and this which is greater than the ZOR of this and this. So this give me a very clear idea to move from left to right and then for every bit because the maximum number of bits to represent 10 to power 9 numbers is like up to like you can do because it's a positive number it's a 32 bit number so like the last bit represent the sign so you can do it over 31 bits from 31 bits because you have to move the from the leftmost to the rightmost bit so the leftmost bit is a 32 then 30 till 0 and for every bit position you have to count out how many ones are there so for all the number of ones you can like make a pair of them like like if there are like five ones so how many pairs you can make you can make five into like n into n minus one divided by two because like if there are like n number like uh, n numbers so now you can make a pair of those n numbers how many number of pairs are possible n into n divided by 2 so like if there are 5 numbers then 5 into 4 divided by 2 which is 10 pairs you can form now you have to also take care that you do not take any number twice because like I have taken this as a pair I should not take this again like let's assume that uh, whenever I'm moving from left to right this number if I take these three numbers then in for these two numbers if I have taken then these two numbers like this bit is same so I have taken this number but whenever I move from left to right for the next position also these two numbers are same so like I can also double count it I can also take these numbers again 
so I, or I, I can take these pair again but that's not possible because I have taken those pair so the best possible thing is I have to also make a visited array which will mark out how many numbers I have used so I should not use them again okay so that's the thing first find out how many ones are there and the total number of ones will tell us how many pairs you can form and after taking all of those, those numbers because I have taken all of those numbers I have to mark them out I have to visit them out because I should not double count them I should not take these numbers again and that's the simplest explanation for this question so I'll tell down to the code part now so the code is also very simple and intuitive so what you'll do you take the input of all the n numbers I'll do it in long long okay but but this is a visited array I have making all the visited array false visited means like I have if I have taken any number I have to make it visited such that I will not double count it then total the total number of pairs I will take I will iterate over for the significant bit 31 till the least significant bit 0 and for every position position of bit I have to count out how many ones are there so this is this will tell that I have to count whether at this position at a given certain position whether for this jth element whether this bit is set or not if this bit is set and this element should not be visited this number should not be visited then only we can count and if it is not visited and this bit is set then I will count it out then if I count it out what will I do uh, like this is a very unnecessary if like you can also delete this out but the thing is uh, what will I do after counting it out okay I have to delete it out also after counting out how many number of ones I have at the given certain bit number then uh, I will mark all of them visited so I am actually all also marking all of them visited like you can also do this here also but I have just make another loop you can also mark visited because you have taken these numbers so you have to also mark them out if you are marking them out then what you have to do in the end the total number of uh, pairs you can form is n into n like nums because nums store how many numbers are there uh, which has the particular set bit at this position so nums into nums minus 1 divided by 2 and over like you have to calculate this over all the possible bit positions and then output the answer ok so that's the whole trick for the this problem if you still have not mentioned now thank you for watching this video I'll see you next one keep coding bye